Back in the 50s, a social psychologist named Muzaver Sharif asked the question, what is it exactly about groups that makes for such tension between them, and what can be done to reduce that tension? Well, Sharif and his colleagues decided to take this question outside of the lab and into the real world. Well, not really the real world, it was kind of an artificial situation, but they were able to create this artificial situation using pre-adolescent boys. What they did was they put on kind of a fake summer camp. They had two different groups of boys, of about 20 boys each. And the first week of this camp, they separated the boys, and the boys didn't know of the existence of the other group. So there were two different camps going on. What they did was they focused on group bonding at this time. As expected, about a week of activities brought these individuals close together as a group, as a team. In the second stage, what the researchers did was they introduced the groups to each other. And they created competition, competition for resources where there could only be one winner and there has to be one loser. There were no prizes for second place, no consolation prizes. As expected, this kind of competition created a lot of tension between the two groups. At first it was just some verbal name calling between the groups. And then it proceeded to vandalism and theft and even physical violence to the point where the researchers had to physically separate the boys. Now comes stage three. At this stage, the researchers created fake situations where the two groups had to work together in order to solve the problem. In one example, they pretended that the water for the camp was shut off in such a way that vandals must have done it. So all the boys had to work together to figure out this problem and resolve the problem. There were many such similar team building activities between both groups. And at the end of the third stage, what they found was that the boys liked each other much more because of these team building activities. At first, there was very strong in-group bias, where the team members just associated with other team members. But after these team building events, where the groups actually got together to solve a common problem, they found out that they really liked each other a lot more than before. This whole experiment was a confirmation of Sharif's realistic conflict theory, which states that when there's competition for resources, negative feelings will arise. Now over 50 years have passed since this first experiment. And what modern theories tell us is that A, this theory is correct, and B, one of the best ways to reduce this kind of outgroup bias and this prejudice and discrimination we have for other groups is to socialize with the other groups, is to work towards a common cause.